All right, everything has been drum sanded to f not final thickness, but to near final thickness. For the sides, I went to 110 thou. The final thickness is 100 thou. So I figure 110 thou gives me room for sanding once it's been bent. Um, the th top and back, I've set at 130 some thou, because that gives me some room once I've glued the book matches together so that I can clean up the edges a bit. Um, there's a little blue in my, there's a little bit of blue haze to my spruce and I'm not a fan, I think. I'm not a huge fan. I'm not, I'm not disgusted by it, but it isn't, it ain't my preference. But um, basically what I'm thinking about now is how to get uh, the best book match and how, when, when to start gluing that together. I'm not sure if I want to put a strip in the center of the book match of the back. I think I want to leave it just a raw book match, I think. Um, and so what I'm going to do then is hold them together and joint the two together like this. I'm a joiner. And hopefully that ends up with some complementary straightness. Uh, and we'll get that ready to glue up then after that. I may just take planes to it. I may be able to just do... Oh, yeah, you know what? We've got to take some off the width anyways because there's flips of torn grain here that I cannot, I cannot abide. Even if it is on the inside, I can't abide it. Yeah, these were like so. They go like this. There's a, there's some, there's some chip out here that I don't like. So what I'm thinking I will do, I think I'm Sort of is going to have to, if I can take a little bit off of the centers, let's see if I can do that. Should be able to do that. Yeah, we should be able to do that. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to take, I'm going to taper this a bit so I can, one, eliminate these little flicks of torn grain, but also Maybe get rid of some of that blue stripe down the center. I don't like that blue stripe there at all. Um, so I'm going to grab my, my ruler. And we'll just see how, how much I have to take to make that look decent. If I just do that. And then I can take it to the bandsaw and uh, slice that clean. Do the same to this side. It means my book match is not necessarily going to be pristine, but I think that's okay. I'll take that over the blue haze. Okay, so we're going to take this over to the bandsaw real fast, probably the little one, and just, you know, try to get as straight as I can, but it doesn't matter much. I'm going to joint them anyway. Just slide this down here move our drop stuff on the floor, ah, fall on the ground, move our anti-fatigue mats down, and just do a real quick trimming, try to follow the line as much as I can.
tapered and really jagged. So I'm going to take it over to the joiner and make for a much prettier, much prettier surface, much prettier edge here. Oof, that's bad. <laughs> but we've still got plenty. It's more than wide enough. We got lots of room to play with. So we're just going to make these and these. I'm going to do the same to this. I'm just going to get this jointed nicely as well. So off we go to the joiner. Change my mind. The joiner did not work real well. I had a lot of trouble keeping it aligned. So I'm going with planes. And I've got a belly right here in the center that I'm going to try to take out first. We'll see how that's doing so far. I'm just going to keep checking it with a straight edge. Make sure we get a good straight cut here. A little bit high in the middle yet. Here. Let's see if I can't find my way to a fairly straight edge here. There we go. It's a little bit hollow in the center. That's perfect. I'm going to do that's beautiful. Now let's make sure we got enough room to keep those whatever little defects out of our way. Yes, that'll work. That got rid of almost all the blue and I still am clear of the defects. So we're good. Okay. I'm ready to put those together. Those are ready to glue. Now it's your turn. So right now we're hollow a bit in the center, but not, but a little too hollow, and it's not super straight. So our grain is doing what? It's going out like this. Okay, so we're gonna like this and go down this way. that lumba oh there we go perfect yes that's it that's the one okay let's confirm I've got enough yes I do just enough yeah I like this orientation so what this means is I've got very little wiggle room here for the rough sizing We'll put some binding on. That's just enough. Okay, it's very tight, but I'm going to leave it. It's good. Mm, yeah, I like this look. This is where I want it to be. Okay. So, I think we shall... I don't think I'm going to use marker to do that, though. I think I will use chalk. We'll just... Yeah, like that. Just... That does you. I like that one. That one looks good. Let's get you guys now. I can live with that. This will do in pencil. Now sides. Let's figure out where in this my sides live. I'm going to go this way, I think. I think I like it right here. I'm just taping them together so they don't shift. It's just like a little packet, packet of wood here. 
they're going to come apart anyway once I cut through the last side. But until then, I like to keep them as aligned as I can. And this is just going to keep it all together as a single entity. In entity. Just not much need for it on this edge, but it just helps keep me sanity, keep me from worrying about it. That's all it really does. Okay, I'm going to go cut these roughly on the bandsaw here. Okay, I think I'm ready to glue up the top. I'll do the back as well, but I'm going to start with the top since that's sitting there right now. Um, I'm going to start by doing a veneering trick where you tape one side so that when it clamps, it folds itself very, very snugly to the parts, to together, together. It pulls them very snugly together, and it helps with keeping the, the seams as minimal as possible, and I can get a little bit of stretch here in the tape to help me stitch this as close and as tight as I can get them. And I fold it open and put glue on the back side of it. It didn't pull together as well as I wanted. Do it again. Do it again. I kind of wish I had like 18 inch bar clamps right now. There we go, I got it. This is less critical here because the sound hole is going to be there, but you still want it pretty close. There we go. That should be a pretty good glue joint. Now I'm going to fold it open. Take a lot of glue over, not enough, any time. Yeah, that's a lot of glue. It's okay. Should have grabbed a pepper towel, but I did not because I wasn't thinking about five steps ahead. Come on. All right. We're going to need it to wipe all the squeeze out anyway. Get on there. Yes. How are you doing on that side? Pretty good. All right, I'm gonna this and just try to wipe some of this away. It's okay. This will be on the inside, and it's gonna get cleaned up anyways. I got a little room for cleanup, so I got a little thickness space for cleanup, so that's not a big deal. I am unconcerned. There, there, and then we can start to. Draw the clamp it together. Try to make sure the seams are not obnoxious. Seems nice. Okay, it 
wants to stand up, so I'm going to go get some weights right now to help hold that. far. Like so more lead, more lead. Uh, that should in theory be about perfect. That actually feels good right there. It's a little low here. Just trying to get those seams as aligned as I dare. A couple more weights where it makes sense. This feels good all over there. Feels good there. Feels pretty good there. Yes, okay. One is in the clamps. This one does not have a lot of clamping on it, but it doesn't need it that badly. Just need to make sure it ain't trying to pop up. It should be good. Good, they're holding. They're holding well. All right, we're gonna do you next. Go we'll grab some more clamps. Boy, that is stressful. Okay. More tape, please. end mills. Nice and heavy end mills. And I think that'll hold it. I think that's all right. Okay, so those are set to dry. I'm, uh, I'm ready to leave that alone. Um, let's see what time is it? Six o'clock. Okay, I think we'll call this a day. We'll leave those to dry. Tomorrow I'll flush trim up the, the sides. Have them ready to go. And we can start uh, cutting our radius, our uh, ribbing, our uh, bracing radius jigs. And then we start getting ready for bracing stuff too, because I got to cut a bunch of bracing strips as well. Yeah, all right, so step one make back and side, back and front. Um, they're glued up. Bring you back when they're ready to uh, pull out of the clamps. All right, it's been the next day. Overnight, it had time to dry. Looks like I got shellac all over my mallet. Oh well. All right, let's take all the end mills and stuff here. Got a bunch of weird sized ones here, but these way. first. 
hold together. Looks like it's pretty smooth on one side, so that's good. It came out nice. I can live with this. All right. One back. Nope. Let's the clamps again. Don't forget that part. Kind of necessary. Otherwise, we could break it. Attention to that noise. And a front. Yes, that top looks good. That book match is great. The joint looks good. Don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it. Sounds pretty good, I think. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I've never known what that means. Um, okay, so we're gonna do real quick, I'm gonna flush trim the sides to shape, to their final shape, um, and then we'll see what's next after that. Okay, we're ready to flush trim the sides, and I've set them together, I taped them together before so they were a good book match. Um, so I'm gonna cut them together at the same time. I wanna stay, keep them so that they stay book matched, that way the curves of the grain do the same thing. It's going to be less obvious because it's on the sides anyways, but when you try to make something nice, you got to make something nice. So we're trying to make those be the right dimensions. So now I'm just going to fold them together here just a little bit so that they stay. That double stick tape keeps them from shifting within one from relative to one another. Then I'm just going to set this guy like this, okay? So a little double stick tape here, and a little bit of double stick tape here, should be plenty to get the job done. Okay. We'll slide these on and we'll be over at the, I can actually take this tape off now that they're held together. One last thing to have to cut through, you knew, you knew. Just like that, and like this. Okay. Looks about right there. It's overhanging everywhere. Yeah, yeah, okay. Stuck down. Okay, now we take this over to the router table and we flush trim it. Okay, we're at the router table now. We're ready to go. Um, we're going to do mostly climb cuts because I don't want to tear any of this grain out and some of it's going to be going the wrong direction. So um, we're going to pretty much climb cut most of the way through. I'm going to start with the end grain in case there's a tear out, um, but we're just going to get after it here. Flush trim to the pattern now. We just have to gingerly peel them free. There we are. There we are. There's one. Try to keep them aligned so I remember which ones are inside and not. I'll be making a quick little mark here shortly. Actually, these are these are mating sides. I don't know if they're both insides or not, but they're mating sides. So I'm just going to put a quick little tick on them. Those could be outsides, they could be insides, but they're the same sides. There we go. I'm going to come at it from the other side here. Just don't want to snap it. Ah. It's time to flatten these 
skins nicely. So we're going to take some more drum sanding time here. And these guys will be ready to go. Yeah, this book match looks pretty good. Uh, we'll get these things flat to within, whatever, you know. 110 would be great, but I think we're going to be even closer than that. Um, they're at about 150 thou right now. 130 thou right now, I think, actually. There isn't a ton of wiggle room. I could have left them a little thicker, but that's all right. We can work with this. So we took these down to a, just a shy bit over at the 100 thou. It's, um, this one's at 100 and, looks like 106, 105 at that location. And 108 there. 106, 104 there. So basically I've got three or four thousand, four, four to six thousand to take off. Um, that leaves me some room for sanding and with the finishing stages. This one's at 106. This one's at 106. 104. So not bad. Pretty consistent. Two thou difference. That one's about right. Perfect. Okay. So what that is is... What that is, is um, it's time we can pick out our front and back side. Um, this is the inside, this will be the outside. And we take our template, which I've conveniently hidden from myself. Place this to get the most impact. Go way up there if I want. Come back down this way soon. Lots of options. Lots and lots of options. And we'll just put it, you know, somewhere in that area, I think. It's probably good. And that's my front for the back. I think I like this end for the for the back. Yeah. Do I like it up there more? way oh I see there's the big figure on this side so I would like the big figure here so that's true okay you know you did a book match well when you can't find the seam of the two boards together Boy, that is really well done it's good not to brag on myself but that was pretty good book match there and there, that's probably good right there. And that puts the sound, puts the, yeah, that puts the sound hole in a nice spot. Could deal with that, all right. Now we've got, oof, giving myself a, does Yanni need the nappies? Okay, so we've got a front and a back, and we've got sides. Um, it's time we start working out a workboard and are getting things positioned where they need to go and that sort of thing. 